Isn't it funny how as soon as you put your helmet on, your ear starts itching? Ah. Google, what the hell? You said this was clear. Because these horsemen ride with the sound side, with heads like thunder, the rock will go by. We have no mercy to be far and wide. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the world famous Whiskey Chaser channel. Cha, 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 cha. So I've been trying to think about something to call all of the awesome people who watch these videos of mine. I was thinking about the Whiskey Dram Fam because, you know, like Whiskey Dram and Dram Rhymes with the Fam and you get it. But, you know, it kind of sounds a little dreadful. I don't know. It sounds a little weird. So I'm sure that there are a lot more people out there in the world that are far cleverer than I am and who can come up with something a little bit better. So if anybody has anything, uh, let me know. Drop something down in the comments below. I think it'd be funny to see what everybody's submissions are on what the whole group of the Whiskey Chaser channel is called. Today what we're doing is we are going to a shop out in Brooklyn. It's called the Speedsman Club, I believe. Basically, here in the city, there is not much garage space, so not many people are able to work on their bike or their cars or whatever, because all we have is what we have on the street, you know? So what this guy does is he has a shop out in Brooklyn that he has all of the tools, he has the lifts, he has basically anything that you would need, and you can go rent that space from him. So I have to change my fork seals because this bike is not passing inspection. I also have to change these handlebar levers because I got new ones and the handlebar levers I could do on the street, not a problem. Uh, I already changed the grips and everything like that on the street. I know how to do all that just fine. But the fork seals, I have to take the wheel off. I have to drain all the oil. I have to completely take the thing apart, replace all of the seals, the bushings, everything like that. I'm gonna need a little bit more space to do that. So I'm gonna go meet up with this guy. He's gonna show me around the shop. We're gonna figure out what we can do and hopefully Hopefully, we'll get something done. That'd be cool to bring you along with me because obviously that's what we do on this channel is we ride motorcycles and we work on motorcycles and we talk about motorcycles and we, we don't do that to motorcycles. That's not something we do on motorcycles. You should never do that to your motorcycle. Well, that'll do you. Oh, I think that's her tire right there. If you're new here and you don't know what any of this is about, my name is Chase. I live in New York City. I ride a motorcycle. That's about it. I mean, that's really the whole premise of the channel. There's not much else to it. But what we do is we go around and I show you what it's like to live in New York City on a motorcycle. If you're just joining us for the first time, please click that subscribe button. If you've been here before, you guys are awesome. Please give this a thumbs up. All right, guys, we're gonna jump on the bridge, head over into Brooklyn, and I'll see you there. Sup nerds, we're down here at the Sportsman Speed Club in Brooklyn. They were kind enough to let me use their shop for a little bit to go ahead and do some maintenance work that I need on the old Harley back here. So what we need to do today, this fork seal right here is leaking. It needs to be replaced in order for it to pass inspection. Also, Parker's bike, which I don't know if you can see is in the background over there, needs an oil change. She knows how to do it, but she's never done it before. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that too. All right, so here's what we got going on. So I got a fork seal gasket, fork seals, washers, everything like that. I'm gonna need to be able to replace all this. Got some new brake levers. And then I have always really loved these 
gators, like the way that they look. So we're gonna put those on as well. All right, so we already have the bike up. So there's the wing up on the spool. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get the fender off, then we're gonna take the wheel off. We're gonna take this whole thing out, break it on down. It should be fun. Step one is done. All right, there we go. So now we got the wheel off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the oil out of these guys, and then we're gonna take this part off, get the whole assembly off, and we'll be able to break this whole thing down. Hey, wanna help? This is what 15 years worth of never changing your fork seals gets you. That is the grayest oil I've ever seen. So I didn't realize the camera turned off. And that's a good thing because I don't know if I'd either be praised or expelled from the entire motorcycle community for doing this. But I finally got these dust covers off. You can see they were really hard to get off. This one was so hard to get off. I actually had to dremel and pry it off but that's okay because these gators will be covering that anyway, so it's not really a huge deal. We're not gonna be reusing these. These things are going in the trash. They always were, so I don't really care about them. So now that we've got that, you can see this fork seal here is pretty bad, but it's not terrible. This actually isn't the seal. This is just the wiper, but you can see like all the crud and stuff. This one over here though is terrible. That needed to be replaced probably five to 10 years ago. So, all right, there we go. And I was like, dude, every guy needs to learn by himself. There we go. Uh, for a yeah. For and the front. Um, the side. Yeah, so you can see there's a bunch of nicks and cuts, stuff like that in there. That's where all that fork oil was leaking out. There was water that was up here from when it started raining on me the other day. The fork seal was so bad that the water was actually going into this, which is why this oil looks like this. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna take the two pinch bolts off here. This whole assembly is gonna come off, put it up on the work table. We'll use the rebuild kit, put it all on the tubes, on the lower tubes and upper tubes, and then we just have to slide this back in, put the wheel back on, and we should be good to go. All right, so first thing we're gonna have to do is take off these fork caps right here. They have a really big spring that goes all the way down this tube. So when it comes off, it comes to shoot. So we're gonna keep a lot of pressure down on top of that so that we can make sure that this thing doesn't go flying all the way across the room. Ooh. You'll definitely see whenever this thing locks up. Okay, yeah, you weren't kidding. Yeah, so that's one. Yeah, 
Okay. It's like a jack in the box. I know. There it goes. All right, uh, that's off. We'll do the pinch bolts. I wouldn't have had the foresight to actually hold on to the fork while I was doing that. It would end up in all of that oil. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the gasket kit, take all these old gaskets off, put all the new ones on, we'll get this back on the front. All right, so I went ahead and got all of the old gaskets off. I got all the new ones that we're gonna need laid out here. This kit that I got did not come with new metal bushings, so we're just gonna use these old ones which they look fine. They don't look like they're beat up or marred at all, so it seems like it's just fine. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new washer, bevel side down, just slide that right over the fork, all the way down. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our cap. This goes in the very bottom. This is what the fork screw at the bottom connects to in order to keep it whirling. That right on the end. And we're just gonna take our lower tube, slide these. Right on in. All right, and then we're gonna take our screws from the bottom. There are new copper washers that go on these. We'll take our six mil, get a couple of these threads. All right, now that we got those in, we'll go ahead and move over one for right now. What we gotta do is we have to get this gasket down, set it inside there so that we can get the snap ring down and pushed on. First, we're gonna take a little bit of oil, lube it up in there a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm gonna get this on here. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take our fork seal driver, and we're gonna have to drive this in to the point where we can see the snap ring line. Give it a few gentle taps. It should be good to go. Go ahead and get that new snap ring on there. See that groove, just work it on in. All right, and then we're gonna take our new wiper. Go ahead and get a little bit of lube on that bad boy right there. And then this is just pressure fit on there. All right, and at this point, if you wanted to reuse your chrome caps, you could. I'm not going to because we are putting the new gators on and these are junk anyway. All right, so we just repeat the process for this side. We're all good to go. All right, now we're gonna get these forks back on. We're gonna go ahead and put the gator right over the top, right here. It's gonna slide down because of this. And this is just gonna slide right in here. goal here is there's a little beveled edge right there. I want to get that bottom of that bevel right on the end of that triple tree. I'm going to tighten this up right now. It doesn't have to be super tight yet. We'll go back and we'll torque those to spin. Looks pretty cool. things came with some zip ties. You just use those on the top here. Kind of helps keep these in place. All right, now we just gotta add oil in it. We should be good to put the wheel back on. All right, we're gonna let these settle for a few minutes. And I'll be back and I'll put the caps back on. We'll put the wheel back on. We should be all set. Good. There it goes.
Chris is the guy who hooked us up. So as you can see, we do cars out here. There's bike space, there's all kinds of stuff. You are able to come out here, you are able to rent a space. So as you can see, there's cars, there's bikes, stuff like that. There's a big workspace back here. So you can come in here and you can rent this workspace and you can do whatever it is you need to do. I changed my entire front end today. I did a complete fork rebuild and these guys had all the tools, they had all the materials, they had everything that you need in order to do that. One of the cool things about this is they actually have a full bar. They have a foosball table. They got a lounge area. You can come in here, you can watch games, whatever. All while wrenching on your cars. They got this sick ass Pontiac Le Mans over here. They have this SS El Camino back here that they're working on as a shop project. So they got a projector, you can watch games, you can play Xbox, whatever the fuck you want, man. This place right here, it's a co-op garage. So there's not particularly one owner, everybody's the owner. You get 24 hour access, you get to come in here, you can do what you need to do. They got beer behind the bar, they got whiskey, they got weird magazines in the bathroom. You don't wanna mess with anything. <laughs> they got a lounge area, they got places for you to park your bike. This is the kind of thing that you wanna do. If you're, if you're in a space where you don't have garage access or ability to work, anything like that, like what we are, we park on the street, we do all our stuff on the street. This is the kind of place where you're gonna come in you're gonna be able to work on your bike. You know, it's great, it's community. You can ask questions. So if you guys have anything that you need to do, if you live in the New York area and you need work done, but you wanna do it yourself, you don't know quite how to do it, you kinda of know how to do it, this is the place to go. Sportsman Speed Club. It's not a motorcycle club, it's not a car club. It's a speed club. It's a speed club. All right, check it out. We're moving and grooving. It's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! Yeah, so everything went on really great. Didn't actually take that long. I was filming it, so it took a little bit longer than normal, but I would have said maybe about an hour and a half that job could get knocked out. It was really simple, really straightforward. I know that it looked kind of intimidating, but for real, it was actually pretty, pretty easy as long as you have the right tools, the right space. That's why I want to give another shout out. Sportsman Speed Club, Chris really helped me out, got me pretty much everything that I needed to get that stuff taken care of. And it was really, really awesome of them to let me come in and use that garage. So yeah, big shout out. Thanks, Chris. I did put one of the levers on and I was filming it, but unfortunately we kind of had to get out of there. It was getting a little bit late. So I only got one on. I still need to get the clutch lever on and I'll be able to do that probably in a day or two, just when I get a little bit of time. It's really not that big of a job. It's, it's actually pretty simple. You just kind of take a snap ring off, pull the tube out, swap them out, it's pretty easy. But if you guys really want to see a video of me doing that, I got no problem with it. I can actually just record it and tag it onto the end of another one. Uh, otherwise, you know, there's videos of Lowbrow Customs, Built Well, all those guys. And I mean, really, to be honest with you, they probably do it a little bit better than I do. I know that you uh, just come watch these videos because you like looking at me. Yes! Okay, so once again, big, big, big shout out to the guys over at Sportsman Speed Club out in Brooklyn. If you guys ever need anything done, any work like that, you need the space, you need the tools, go check those guys out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put their email right there and their Instagram right there. I'll also have it down in the description so you guys can go follow them. Please give them a follow. If you have Instagram, go to their Instagram and check them out. They got some pretty weird photos over there, but they're pretty funny dudes. All right, everybody, once again, thank you so, so, so very much for watching all this one. I know that this one was a little bit longer compared to the last couple of videos, so what are you doing, bro? If you can, if you made it to the end of the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please do all those things. Really, really helps us out, trying to build up a little bit of an audience here. And uh, these videos are made possible.
with people like you. PBS. Yes. Man, I need to do the rear suspension now that the front suspension is done because the front feels so good compared to the back. It's so much more solid. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.